I've got a couple batteries here. Everybody has seen the Redodo before, but then uh, I got this one from Cycling Bat a few weeks ago, and I've been playing around with it, and I gotta say, man, this is a very, very powerful battery. And, uh, you know, if you're wanting a battery that, you know, is super tiny, I don't know of any other one that's as small as the Cycling Bat. And I'll get you some measurements here in just a minute. Not only is it smaller in size, but it's actually more powerful than the Redodo, which is, you know, it's pretty impressive. So when you get this battery here, they give you two length bolts and uh, they're both M8 metric bolts. And that is the standard for all, all the batteries here is the M8. But uh, you know, they, they're measured in metric and, and length as well. But I'm, I'm gonna measure them in standard because most of you is, you know, probably gonna like me. You don't care about the, the metric, you're more into the standard. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my measurements showing height with this little half inch bolt screwed into the terminal. Now they give you a one inch bolt but I mean, truthfully, I don't know what you use that for. I mean, I guess if you had a bunch of stuff stacked up and, you know, wires, you know, and lugs, you know, hooked into this one terminal and you would, might need that long of a bolt. But I mean, most of you are going to use this half inch bolt and then you're going to put you a, a, a lot washer on there first and then you're going to put your flat washer on there. So the way that I'm going to do this measurement is with it put in here just like this and I'm just going to screw it down finger tight and then I'm going to back out probably about a, a turn and that's going to simulate there being a copper lug in there that way we'll get more of a real world kind of measurement so I'm going to do my measurement from the table all the way to the top of that bolt there and it's right at nine inches the so next we're going to be measuring width wise it's nine inches too so the measurement this way it is five and a half and the weight on this battery is 20.4 pounds so if you're wondering how much bigger is the Redodo battery than the cycling bat it's an inch and one eighth and you can see there's there's quite a bit of, of difference in there now if you want to compare the height difference between the two five eighths of an inch difference all right so when you line the batteries up this way here you can see that the Redodo is a quarter of an inch uh, more narrow. So the reason I wanted to be so precise on the measurements on these batteries is just simply because if you're using this thing in a kayak or something like that, yeah, there's a lot of guys uh, running trolling motors and electric motors and stuff in their kayaks now. Uh, I'm sure you guys probably don't know that about me. I, I actually run uh, the group called Fishing Kayak Mods. I've got over 50,000 members in that group and and yeah, it's been going on for several years. Guys have been putting some pretty powerful motors in their kayaks and uh, just keeps you from having to do a lot of paddling. And so I figured some of the, the kayakers would really enjoy these measurements because, you know, when it comes to, you know, fitting a battery in a kayak, you know, space is definitely, definitely important. And so, you know, for all you guys running the little mini batteries, this one's even smaller. So this one would be a great, great battery for a kayak. Uh, not to mention, you know, like I said, you know, this one here is more powerful than the Redodo. This one here has a 150 amp BMS, where this one here is, only has a 100 amp BMS. Uh, they said uh, that it can do 300 amps for like five seconds. Well, I seen one of the other YouTube reviewers push this thing till its absolute max, and it did well over five seconds. And so, uh, it's probably the most powerful. 100 amp hour mini battery I have ever seen and um, very impressed so check out some of those other reviews and you'll see what I'm talking about a guy really just does a great job pushing this thing to its max now keep in mind it's supposed to shut down after five seconds and so it did not shut down so that's one thing that I would like to see you know while it's impressive that it can run for more than five seconds on that 300 amps you know it's kind of to that point where, hey, it's it's going to get hot on the inside and it could cause some overheating. So, you know, as long as you don't push this thing, you know, past those 300 amps for five seconds, you'll be good. Unlike a lot of uh, batteries like this, they use the uh, pouch cells. This one has the prismatic cells in it and, uh, you know, this thing just seems to be well made and, and of good quality. So this battery here is rated for 5,000 cycles and up to 10 years, maybe even more, you know, just depends. Uh, some of these things can, can last longer. Now it does have a five year warranty on it. So, you know, whenever you receive the battery, make sure that you do fill out the information on the warranty card. 
and uh, you know send it back into them so you get that five year warranty. So in case something happens, let's say the BMS goes out in it, then they can fix it or replace it, whatever they do, I'm not real sure. And then you've got you know this uh, let's get started. It's pretty much just a, a quick start guide and it just tells you some of the, the basic safety stuff in here. It's very basic and you know now if you want more information in, in greater detail then you can go to the product manual and you can see this is an actual manual with quite a few pages in there so anyways just wanted to point out that you can hook four of these in series or four of these in parallel and then you know you can use it as a 12 volt 24 volt 36 volt or even a 48 volt so it just depends on how you wire it up now obviously if you guys wouldn't be looking at many batteries if you uh, had a lot of room so like I said before you know the reason you want a mini battery is because you don't have a whole lot of room these would just be perfect for like like I said before a kayak or a boat or you don't have much room or even a tiny house you know I we watch a lot of those tiny house shows on TV and you know I thought it'd be pretty cool you know you could easily find a spot to put four of these without any problem just because they are so small in size now if you're looking for a weight advantage really between the two of them there's not a greater uh, weight advantage over one over the other in fact i think the redota weighs a, just a tiny bit less but you know like you've seen you know as far as the measurements go uh this is just a smaller package but for me i like it because it has that 150 amp bms so you know you can run some higher ticket items than than you could with just a 100 amp BMS. Now, both of them are rated at the 1280 watt hours, and it says uh, right here on the back of the battery, it says your discharge cutoff is 10.6 volts, your max charge voltage is 14.4 volts, and then your max series, series voltage is 48 volts, and max continuous charge current is 120 amps, max continuous discharge current is 120 amps, and peak discharge currents 300 amps or five seconds and then it says the temperature range is from negative four degrees fahrenheit to 140 degrees fahrenheit now as with both of these batteries here they're what i like to call dumb batteries they don't have the the bluetooth feature and uh, all that there's no smart feature to it whatsoever you know and there's all you know there's no heating uh, from either one of the batteries so they're they're not going to have any kind of heat source to keep them uh, protected you know if, you know to, if they were below freezing and you were trying to charge them uh, you, you know you're not going to have that heating source to keep them warm on the inside it's 336 dollars on amazon right now so just wanted to give you an idea of what this one costs now like i said this one does have some upgrades and it is smaller size compared to the redodo the redodo is a little bit less money but uh you know this is a, a lot more battery in my opinion just because of the larger uh, bms and you know if size is you know a big factor to you this one's even smaller so you haven't seen me use this one in some testing but in the future i'm gonna i'm gonna start using some of these and uh, just see how good that they are you know it's one thing to pull it out of the box and you know tell you about it but then it's one thing another thing to uh actually use it and use it in some testing and so we're going to be you know powering up some power inverters and, and things like that with it and so make sure you guys keep an eye out for it but uh, anyways i appreciate you watching this video and i appreciate cycling bat for sending this battery out to me and uh until next time guys thanks for watching if you're interested in the battery make sure you check down in the description down below i'll put a link to it i am an amazon affiliate I do earns like a tiny little bit of commission from it but, uh, you know, if you want to buy from it, I sure appreciate it. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Have a good one. See ya.